What's up, boys and girls? This is Scyther4077, and welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is part six. And that cute girl right there, her name is Jenny. We used to work together. And we're going to get another side quest called Cloak and Dagger. And the thing is, is that the first thing we're going to do after we accept the quest is we're going to go to see this gentleman named O'Malley. And he's actually right next to the storage shed or whatever that was right next to the police station where we found those four ebooks while we were doing the other side quest for Megan Reed's mom. So this is him right here. And I just go ahead and skip through this. And you can answer however you want. Just accept the quest. Okay, boom, we talked to him, so that's one part. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're going to this apartment here. And we're actually, this is O'Malley's apartment. It's in the same building as the first apartment that we went to, to where that thug attacked us and we ended up punching, punching him out. <laughs> All right. See, because what we got to do is we got to find some dirt on O'Malley. So what we want to do is search through here. Make sure you look in this bookshelf. There is a pocket secretary. You are going to need that because it has a code. Because right now, we don't have a high enough security clearance in order to crack this code because it's a security level 3, I believe. So we have the code, so no problem. Now, be careful. What I did was, the first time I didn't do this, but the second time, you can actually, I would pick up a cardboard box and throw it in there, but I didn't do that this time. Actually, that's right. The second time when I played this, I did that. Okay, so make sure you search the drawers. You can't open that safe yet, but we will be able to by the end of the video because I am going to upgrade my my hacking abilities up to level three. Also, when we we're going to visit the limb clinic as well, and we will upgrade our strength so we can lift and throw heavy objects, which is great because you're going to kind of need that. Well, actually, yeah, it, it's nice to have because then you can go take different ways, okay, around things. Instead of taking one way, you can take another because you can move heavy objects. Oh, and actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if you have to have it or not, but you definitely have to have level three in order to complete this quest, so you're going to have to upgrade eventually. But that's all right because when we go to the limb clinic, we can actually get two free Praxis points, and that's awesome, Okay. So, we can't pick up the crossbow bolts, but you definitely want to pick up these drugs because that's evidence. So, that's two pieces of evidence so far that we have. And then you can go in the bathroom, there's a shotgun, and there is an ebook in there too that you want to read. Okay? Actually, I think there might be some power bars in here, but I could be wrong. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. But, anyways, yeah, it looked like I was getting, I was about to puke in the toilet. Alrighty. So we're going to go over here and around here, and you'll you'll figure out where to go. We're doing a little, we're just finishing this side quest here because it's only one thing to do. And look at who it is. It is Zeke Sanders. It's like one thing. You don't even get, of course, you don't get a trophy for this because it's only one thing you have to do. It's like one part of a side quest. That's it. But we do get... A pocket secretary, which is good because later on, next in the next couple of videos, actually not the next video, but the video after that, we're going to need it because we're going to the warehouse, this where, certain warehouse that we got to go to, and we're going to need the code, and the code will be good to have because, yeah, instead of trying to hack it, because you might not have time, <laughs> and it's just better if you have the code. Anyway. Plus, it gives you a username and a password. You don't necessarily have to use that. You can hack the computer, but... It's up to you. You can, if you want, you can use the uh, password. It's up to you. If you want to build, you know, if you want experience points and everything like that, you know. Okay, so here's a limb clinic. We're gonna buy two Praxis points. They're five thousand credits each. You should have an ass load of credits by now if you haven't purchased anything, which I haven't. And oh, and what we are gonna do too is I'm going to end up getting rid of my sniper rifle. Okay, and I get rid of my pump action shotgun. The reason why? Oh, and don't forget, there's two ebooks over here. And then if you come through this door, because we're still in the limb clinic, there is an ebook over here. And then we can go into the surgery room where we were actually operating on. But anyways, 
I draw. I end up dropping the pump action shotgun and the sniper rifle, and the only reason why I do that is because for the boss fight when we get towards the end of the warehouse situation, <laughs> because <laughs> that way we can pick up the rocket launcher, which we'll be able to pick up right in the warehouse. Okay, and that takes up a lot of space. Yes. Now I'm still able to carry. So what I end up picking up as well, aside from the rocket launcher, is I pick up the combat combat rifle. Okay. And I actually upgrade it too. And you'll see where I do that. But anyways, we're not he said for us to go and get this antenna. We're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up this ladder here. Alright? Now I hadn't built up my strength yet. Oh no, actually yes I did, but I don't want to do it like this. I go up this ladder, or I go up these steps all the way. Okay, and we enter this building, okay? And you'll know you're going the right way if you see these two vending machines right here. And I move them just to see if there's anything behind them, and there isn't, which sucks. And if I really wanted to, I could throw those, but I, yeah. But anyways, we go out this door here. And at first, I was like, what the hell, this is pointless. You know, all right, big deal, I got some XP points for Traveler, but what the hell? I'm like, you know... It's dead end. I can't jump from anywhere. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a second. This is the part where I need to take these guys out, and then I can just go waltz right right by there. See, because part of the stipulation of the side quest Cloak and Dagger is to not get recognized or found out by the DBZ gang. Okay? And... I think it's, it's a DBZ... Well, it's whatever the gang it is. Okay? And, oh, and, and Derelict Row. Okay? That's one of the stipulations, okay? You want to make sure that you don't get found out. So we end up taking out, because all these guys keep going to see their friends, and they keep getting taken out, and that's it. Take them out. Now we can go back down there, and instead of going through the doorway, we're going to go through this manhole, because it's so much easier to get through this way to get where we're going to find this this weapon stash that we're we're doing. But yeah, like I said, you know, one of our objectives is not to get seen by these guys or else you get started out, you know because you want to be able to get the full all the objectives complete so you can get the most XP so alright so you want to watch it here there's a guy all the way at towards the end eventually he's gonna to walk towards you and go over the bridge way down there once he does that you can go ahead and jump in the sewer it's providing you shut the breaker off otherwise it's electric it's electrified so alright we're going to go all the way. And actually, I, at the end of this, I should have turned around and, and I realized that. Oh, shit. Now, there are people up there, but they don't hear you because you're stealthy. <laughs> but that guy's not even facing you, so you don't have to worry about him. You can go ahead and jump up here. Come on. And you want to do the crouch jump so you don't make any noise. And I stay crouched at least until I... Get over here because there is a ladder. All right, there ain't nobody over there, and there's not going to be. If you took the other way around, it's such a pain in the balls. I mean, yeah, you can get through it, and I did it in my private playthrough, but I found this way. You could do it this way, too, and I'm like, oh, I'll do it this way. All right, this is where you would have came in from. You need to go all the way around all these people when instead, because this is the part where you need to actually go. Okay? And remember this tunnel the sewer because we have to come through here again all right so we're going to pick up this whitman shipment as evidence and then there's an ammunition ammunition upgrade which i upgraded my combat rifle and then and then you want to go towards the basketball courts again so you can just cut through here go straight on through you'll end up out at the basketball court all right and the uh, the weapon is kind of nearby that you got to pick up. You, I wait till later on to pick that up. Well, now I actually have the room. But anyways, you want to climb this ladder and go up to the fourth floor, I believe. Now, see, there's an open window because I've already been in here and I realized I couldn't crack any of the doors. So we open this window. And one of the other stipulations is is to is to knock out Double T, one of the gang members, one of the MCB gang members, all right? So what I do is I trank everybody, because I didn't know which one uh, Double T was, because they said, oh, he was augmented. But yet, there's a few guys in here that are augmented, so. So, first, I take this guy out with the trank gun. 
You know, I don't have to worry about him. So I ended up dragging him over just in case they came out the room. And I come over here. These guys are watching TV. So you know, it's like, all right, go ahead and name it up. Nighty night, you bastard. And I could, I should have shot that guy, but there's another guy coming out. So I'm like, I'm running. Run away. And then I come back until they settle. So I take this guy out. I thought I missed him, and I didn't. And then there's a guy in the kitchen standing around. He's got augmented arms, and I thought, oh, well, maybe that's double T. So I couldn't I couldn't risk shooting anybody and killing him. So, yeah, I got that. Now, the last two guys are in the room locked up, so you have to... This is where you have to have level three hacking ability, or else you won't be able to complete it until you get that. I tried this, like, four times, and I used up all my stop arms and everything, and so I said, I, I'm going to reload the checkpoint. And I did. This time, I was able to hack every single node. It didn't even come up. And I was like, hmm. This has happened before, too. In fact, in my private playthrough, I did the same thing. I ended up failing it, like, twice. And I was like, screw this. I'm going to... I don't want to use all my... I don't want to use my nuke software. And I don't want to use the rest of my my stop viruses. And I reloaded the checkpoint. And I tried it again. And pff, went through the first time. And I was able to hack everything. All right, so what I do is I open the door and I run away. Just so they know that there's somebody there. And I turn around and I shoot him. I thought I didn't get him and then I did. And then there's this... There's the last guy. And what I do is I stand around until he has to reload. And that's when I, that's when I trank him. But you can do it however you want. But like I said, if you want to complete the objective totally, you know, you want to keep Double T alive... Then, you know, you want to trank everybody because, like I said. All right, so we got everybody down for the count. And, don't, of course, don't forget to search that room. And look at this. When we come back out on the stairwell to come out, the same way we came in, I noticed this. Stop fire stuff. We're just sitting there. I'm like, yes. So I went ahead and jumped for that and grabbed it. Now we come back to Jenny. And we're almost done. You have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. And I already, I'm going to hit the complete quest. I give her the weapon. Because you, you can choose not to give her the weapon that he wanted you. See, O'Malley told you that he wanted you to plant the weapon in another gang's turf. And basically starting a gang war. Well, we, no, we bring it to Jenny. <laughs> but you can keep it if you want to. It's just a crossbow. Anyways, I went ahead and grabbed the power bar. Now we're going back to O'Malley's apartment. And, of course, you do recognize where this is at, because, like I said before, it was where we got attacked by that thug when we were doing that quest about the uh, neuropazine. All right, so you talk to him. I choose to fight him. You can choose to let him go and everything else, but I choose to knock his ass out. And, yeah. I don't have time to waste with your bullshit. You're a lying, murdering, manipulative son of a bitch. And I'm here to take you down. I almost didn't get him because I wasn't close enough to him. And I got shot a couple times, but I got him. Awesome. And then you know what? You go to search him, he doesn't have shit on him. I'm like, you motherfucker. Okay, so now that I have the security, you know, hacking level three, I can go ahead and hack this. And this one, this is the first attempt. I was able to hack every single node. Didn't even, I was like, yeah, awesome. And, of course, it does help that I, I, do, I did upgrade. And there's some virus software in there, nuke virus, and then there's some shotgun so, shells, which I don't need because I don't have a shotgun. Happened? But, yeah, so, and I did upgrade, you know, like the other stuff for hacking, which is good to have. But, anyways, we are coming to the end of this video. We will be back in Part 7, and we are going to go do some of the main quest. And then, in Part 8, we will continue on that main quest. So, until then, this is Site 4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Rate, comment, subscribe, suggest. But most importantly, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video and enjoy your newly obtained trophy, which is Cloak and Dagger. Where is it? Give it to me. There it is. Oh, Cloak and Daggers. Sorry, plural. All right, bye bye.